Hi, how's it going? I'm going to review and show how to operate this 22 inch gas powered yard force mower. It has a 6 and 3 quarter horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine that can handle long thick grass without bogging down. These engines are regarded as one of the best for starting, reliability, and ease of finding parts. For example, this air filter is sold at big box stores everywhere or Amazon for 10 bucks. It uses standard 10W30 oil, which comes with the mower. The Briggs & Stratton engine on my cheap old yard machine mower lasted for 15 years with some minor part replacements. It's still running despite the mower's rusted deck and broken wheels. The deck height adjustment handle is solid and long, making height changes easy. And the detents are deep so the handle won't accidentally slip out of place. This one lever adjusts all four wheels at the same time, which is a nice time saver. The height adjustment is assisted with this heavy black spring. It makes it easy to move the deck to a higher position. One thing I don't like is the placement and materials on the self-propelled drive system. The black belt runs around a couple of white plastic pulleys which drive the rear wheel system. I'm concerned that the plastic pulleys will eventually crack from pebbles and debris that find its way in between the belt and pulley. The other end of this belt runs to another plastic pulley on the drive shaft of the blade. The belt is covered by this flimsy, loosely held on plastic cover. I can foresee rocks and debris finding their way under the housing and damaging the belt system. I think large enough rocks will even crack the plastic housing. Placing the entire drive system above the deck would probably eliminate a lot of potential problems. The mower uses a standard single blade. The side discharge cover uses a durable looking heavy spring. The plastic wheels feel solid and durable and are wrapped in a soft black plastic that feels a little harder than rubber. Since storage space is an issue for some folks and this mower can't be stored vertically, I'm going to measure its footprint. The length is 60 and a half inches. The width is 22 and 3 quarters. With the handle folded down, it's 47 and a quarter inches. I'm folding in the bottom section of the handle to get the smallest footprint possible. I needed to completely remove the orange nuts from the bottom bar to fold it over. 36 and a half inches. To start the mower, hold the orange upper bar which allows it to start, then pull the string. Let go of the bar to stop the engine. The lower orange bar near my thumb is to engage the self-propel function. To stop the mower from self-propelling, release the thumb bar. The mower is heavy, so it's hard to make 180 degree turns next to walls or obstructions. When the self-propel function is disengaged, the mower will allow you to pull it backwards. When the self-propel is engaged, you can still manually push it faster. I'm jogging it with it here. The mower does not have an adjustable self-propel speed, which means it's either off or full speed. And full speed is the pace of a normal walk, which is just about right for me. When making turns with the mower tilted backwards, all the weight is on the rear wheel drive, which will grip the grass more strongly and may whip you around the turn if you're not ready. This mower comes in a large heavy bulky box. 
I was able to transport it home in the back seat of my Camry, but it was a bit of a struggle. Instead of going to the physical store, samsclub.com will ship it to you for free. I have the link in the description section to buy it directly from Sam's for $279. Another issue I have is the black plastic flap that goes over the grass catching bag leaks a significant amount of clippings. This is a problem since I want the fewest weed seeds flying on my lawn as possible. I ensured the hooks were seated properly on the mower and the bag was properly assembled. It seems the plastic flap was not manufactured to conform to the curvature of the grass catching bag frame. The mower is covered by a two year warranty, but I got no response from Yard Force even after two attempts. I'm assuming their office is closed due to COVID. I do like the wide mouth of the bag, which allows the clippings to slide out easily without any shaking. The fabric on the grass catcher is very thin and is see-through, kind of like lawnmower lingerie. I'm skeptical about its durability, but at least the bottom is made out of a durable vinyl. Despite the plastic pulley and the leaky thin grass catcher bag, I'd give this mower an initial score of 8 out of 10. Since most of the mower is heavy duty, the excellent engine that has started on the first cold pull almost every time, and the price of $279 for a 22 inch self propelled mower is hard to beat. And my girls rate the box a solid 10. Thanks for watching.